Good morning, everyone. Uh, today, I'd like to share an idea about Japanese aesthetics. So, I decided to present it in Japanese. Why not? <laughs> Good morning, <laughs> once again. Well, I was introduced like a cra uh, design crazy design geek. But Japan is really a beautiful country, don't you think? And when we think about the beauty of Japan, why is it beautiful? That's because the Japanese culture does not value just um, simply creating things, but it values the harmony, harmony of the creation and the nature. Like for example, to represent God, there is nature, the green, and they use primary colors like red to represent God. And they value the harmony. The harmony is our value. So that is the major, the most important conce concept in the beauty of Japanese culture. So let me talk about the harmony and, and what do you see? What do you see? Here, I have it. Well, harmony. Yes, I'm going to talk about harmony. <laughs> wow, well, maybe I heard it. OK, let me, let me show it to you once again. I think you see these kind of signage around Japan a lot. When you go to cultural places, you will see these kind of signage, but do they really match the environment? Do they really match the heritage? Have you ever not thought that isn't there any other ways to uh, represent uh, these kind of signage? So I will today I would like to announce a completely new project, a project to do something about it. This is the sign for grave of the great Nobunaga, the samurai, the warlord. And if you were living in his time, I think you would have your um, you would have to go to har through Harakiri or have your uh, or the peony garden. The peony garden, the signage is blocking the uh, blocking the peony entrance and the toilet. Yes, it's nice, but this is the only thing that our times people created in this play. And isn't it a little bit sad? When we think about the harmony of our creation, our harmony, our creation from the modern times is not matching the creation from the past times. And sometimes it's inevitable. Yes, this place is going through construction, but do they really have to put these things and what are they trying to show? What are they trying to tell us? Not the castle behind, maybe the signage. OK, so I think this is a good opportunity to rethink about it. And it's a good chance, because this is a good chance to be able to engage in the Japanese history that has been passed on from generations to generations. But to do that, we can't just do that through the power of designers. We need cooperation from the uh, the priests or the monks or the the local government people who are managing these kind of properties. Or in order to find harmony, maybe we need the power of craftsmen who knows who can use the skill from the ancient times, and also the designers who can do the design for that. So let us once again, let me repeat myself. The most important concept in the Japanese culture, the Japanese beauty, is harmony. So to do that, we need your help. So let's work on this project together. Thank you very much.